Hello everybody, it is the Zion Gaming Channel here today, and we are going to be addressing an issue with the Star Wars The Old Republic launcher that many uh, players that just installed the game are um, facing. So the problem is, um, after you uh, have installed the game, or have installed Star Wars The Old Republic, and um, after putting in your information, account information on the login screen, and pressing the button login, uh, you will be prompted to a new screen that includes like update patches and so forth. And um, at that point, the game should be um, patching itself because the game comes up with, or the game adds new patches in every um, every month or so. Um, but what many people are facing, or many new users are facing, is the fact that um, the launcher itself is not actually patching when it's supposed to be, and that is due to the fact that uh, BitRater is interfering with the launcher. So um, the Swartzer Launcher uses a BitRater client to facilitate it in a way I do not know specifically. But uh, yeah, so instead of facilitating, it's actually um, making it harder to log in for new players. And many people don't know about this, but um, it's actually quite an easy fix. So to fix this problem, and to so, so to allow your game to actually patch, what you want to do is you want to navigate to your file folder, your, and uh, navigate to wherever your Star Wars The Old Republic folder is located. In this case, mine is in Program Files by 86. I'm going to go to my Star Wars The Old Republic folder. And you're going to look for a, um, a uh, file that is called launcher.settings, or just launcher for short. It has a paper icon right next to it, and in the file type, it is a, si it is a settings file, excuse me. <laughs> So, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open this with either Notepad or Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad, you can get Notepad++ for free, so... Um, and you, wa you want to go ahead and navigate down to the 13th uh, line, where it says BitRater Disable, well, BitRater underscore Disable, and it should say False. Um, what you want to go ahead and do is set this to True so as to disable BitRater so that your game can actually patch without BitRater hindering it from doing that exactly. So, yeah, you just want to go ahead and set BitRater underscore disabled to true. Click Save. And then what you want to do is you want to right-click on the launcher.settings file you were just working on, click Properties, click Read Only, go down to Attributes and click Read Only. Make sure it has a check on it. Click Apply, click OK, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. You should be good to go. Go ahead and type in all your account information in the Star Wars The Old Republic launcher, click Login, and uh, you're basically good, good to go. Your game will, if you did it correctly, your game should be patching automatically, and you will soon be in the Star Wars The Old Republic universe. Uh, and that concludes today's video. Uh, have a wonderful time. This is Zion Gaming signing off.